And you're welcome back. A bit of a breaking uh, story for you. The president of the Republic, Nana Dodanko Akufan, has been responding to uh, some recent findings in an investigative piece released by Al Jazeera News Network, uh, suggesting that uh, he has been lawyer to one member of a cartel illegally shipping gold out of the African continent. Uh, let's get more from uh, our parliamentary correspondent, Kweku Asante, who's uh, joining us shortly to give us uh, the latest on this. Uh, Kweku, if you're with us, what are the details contained in the statement? So, Blessed, first, you will recall that in that investigative piece by Al Jazeera, the investigative unit uncovered one person called Alistair Matias, who claimed that he smuggles $40 million worth of gold through Ghana every month. He also alleged that government of Ghana gave him a certain contract worth $100 million which in fact should have cost about $80 million, and that he then outsourced this work to someone else. The government official then pocketed $15 million of this amount, and then he pocketed $5 million. It did not end it there. He went on to allege that President Ekufuadu used to be his lawyer and that he has set unparalleled access to the president. This is what the presidency has taken note of and say that he takes serious exception to it. Let me read portions of this letter addressed directly to Al Jazeera, signed by the executive secretary to the president, Mr. Nana Bedietu Asante, setting out the issue. He says that, I am instructed by the president to demand formally that Al Jazeera media network retract immediately and apologize for airing an inaccurate and unfair documentary that contained spurious and unsubstantiated allegations against the president and the government of Ghana. The documentary in question made baseless claims that the president acted as a lawyer for one Mr. Alistair Matias and implied that the president personally benefited unlawfully from an alleged $100 million state infrastructure contract reportedly awarded to Mr. Matias. In his letter dated 11th April, responding to Al Jazeera's letter of 2nd April, the legal counsel to the president, Mr. Cole Esuma, acting on the instructions of the president, informed Al Jazeera that the president had not been in private practice since the year 2000, and that the president had no recollection of acting as a lawyer, either personally or through his law firm, Messrs. Ekufuado, Frempe & Co. for Mr. Alistair Matias, or his company, Caldress Resources. In the circumstances, further and better particulars were demanded from Al Jazeera to respond adequately to the allegations made in the documentary. Al Jazeera was thus requested to provide information on the period for which the president allegedly provided legal representation to Mr. Alistair Matias or his company. Furthermore, Al Jazeera was requested to provide details of the 100 million tender for state infrastructure, but Al Jazeera has not done all this. The presidency continued by giving out a deadline that within a week, seven days of receipt of this letter, they expect Al Jazeera to retract and apologize for what they describe as an unprofessional piece of documentary. Let me read that. Yeah, but do, do we know, do we know what, what's likely to happen uh, if within this two-week period we, we do not have the international media organization retract that story? That is a challenge. This letter by the presidency does not specifically state if the president and the government of Ghana wish to take any specific measures against Al Jazeera if they decide not to retract and apologize for the content of that documentary. It only gives them seven days to retract and apologize, which will then mean that the president intends to take some decisions or some actions if, if after seven days, this retraction and apology does not come. But this letter does not say so. The presidency may reserve the option of suing in Doha, Qatar, or any other international tribunal. But this letter from the office of the president does not say so, especially unless it says that seven days this specific matter right. must be uh, let's, try, let's try and put this into context. For, for those who have not followed the Gold Mafia documentary itself by uh, the Al Jazeera group, uh, what, what was this individual head saying about the president? So three things. Alisa Matias was caught on tape by this Al Jazeera investigative team making some strong allegations against other African leaders. It starts by saying that he has such a close connection with so many African leaders, it is be very difficult for any of these African leaders to turn him away. And then he goes on to make the allegation that in Ghana, a certain $100 million contract was awarded to his company. 
in that in fact this contract was expected to be worth 80 million dollars but that it had been inflated to 100 million dollars and that the government the presidency will pocket 15 million dollars of this five million dollars will go to him it does not end there he goes on to say that president Kufaro used to be his lawyer when the president was in private practice and that he has such a close personal relationship with the president some would say that he was peddling influence at the time but that was what he was caught on tape saying. Mm. Al Jazeera then reached out to the presidency asking for a response. The presidency responded by saying that the president had not been in private practice since 2000 and that the president does not recollect that either himself or his law firm, Mercedes de Cooper, the Premier and Co., had actually represented this person right. in any legal matter in Ghana mm. or his company. And so in this, that part was also yeah, broadcasted. In I the see. In this latest statement that we have, do, do we have the president categorically deny the fact that he's ever met this individual or has been involved in one way or the other with him? So what the presidency does in this statement is saying that they refer to an earlier correspondence with Al Jazeera. They wrote a letter through the legal counsel to the president, Mr. Ko Baka Esuman, who wrote to Al Jazeera responding to the specific content of the investigation. First, by saying that the president did not know Alistair Matthias. He does not recollect having represented him in any legal, any legal case. The presidency in this letter do not make any new claim as to whether or not those claims that were made by Alistair Matthias is true or not. They only rely on that response that he had sent in April to Al Jazeera, specifically denying that the presidency or President Ekupari himself have been involved in any deal whatsoever with President Ekufaro. Mm, I see. Uh, and there's a lot uh, unfolding uh, on this. Uh, grateful uh, that you've been able to give us the latest uh, quick wasante uh, monitoring that document release from the presidency earlier today. But the president.